guys, it is 6 19 in the morning. Uh, we are in my car and we're driving to where do you guys think I'm going right now? We're, we're, let me turn on this light for you guys. We're going to the gym. The gym, gym, gym. It is a glute day. I've been on a hat kick, so I've been wearing my hats. Welcome to the vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of those things. Um, and today is check-in day. So the beginning of this video, I kind of took you behind the scenes on what a check-in morning looks like slash a regular morning looks like for me. So I am just headed home. I thought I would give you a little update because I just got my check-ins back. It is 4.18. This is the almost third week in a row we've increased my calories. So now I'm in the 2,500 club, which is the highest it's been, again, all year. The highest my calories were in 20, 20 was in January-ish in February before we started my prep was 2,500 calories. So I never got past it. So I, I feel like I might be able to get higher than that. I don't know if my body needs more calories than that, but it feels like I'm eating a lot of food. 250 grams of carbs, like 210 grams of protein, and like 70 grams of fat. I'm not exactly sure, because um, I'm on a meal plan, but it's pretty much carbs with every single meal. Pre-workout carbs, post-workout carbs, five times a day carbs, like carbs all day long. It's like too, it's like too much, but I am headed on my way to the gym. I live about 45 minutes away from work um, in Lenexa is where I work at Angel Compass Bikinis. So I'm going to crunch gym. I have cardio, so we're still doing nothing changed with cardio. Four times a week of 20 minutes of the Stairmaster. And then he pretty much just told me that we want to push calories and not get scared of gaining body fat right now. We increased my calories and nothing happened with my body weight or my measurements. So he's increasing them again and we'll probably start cutting in January or so. So use these weeks and this extra energy and these extra calories to actually like go really hard and like really try to push myself and like push the calories and push the carbs into the muscle since I will have extra energy since we are increasing my calories. So pretty much don't just waste the calories. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go crush my cardio with a lot of high intensity. I'm going to lift as heavy as I can. I'm gonna probably add drop sets and bands and just like going up in weight and really trying to push myself as hard as I can before we start cutting and I get depleted and I get weak and I don't have energy. So while I have the calories and while you have calories, if you get a calorie increase, that is a kind of like a tip for you is anytime your calories get increased, you're gonna have more energy. So just use it, don't abuse it and yeah, so I'm excited. I did not expect for my calories. I thought we weren't gonna make any changes this week. So it's kind of, I don't think I have enough carbs at my house. I think I have some oatmeal I can factor in, but it's kind of nice because, um, yeah, I get extra carbs. So normally, I, I the past, I don't know, like six to eight months, I've been eating dinners that are carbless. And so now I get carbs with my dinner. It's the little things, guys. Just the little things. Um, yeah, so pretty, pretty exciting. So now I get an additional 30 grams of carbs pre-workout, plus I get like 20 extra grams of carbs with my dinner, so it's quite a bit of food. Yeah, I'm excited. And then I will check in with him next week. We are probably going to be doing a pop-up shop in February at the CPC in Vegas. So let me know which weekend that you might be there. Uh, we can't really plan anything until the schedules for Vegas and like pro shows come out more. Just, they don't have any schedules out. So I usually play it by year. I'll know like two to four weeks ahead of time when I'm going and I'll do a little pop-up shop slash I wanna see you guys and meet you and pose with you at the contest prep center in Vegas. That'll probably, I'll probably be there a couple times this year because obviously when I go pro, I'll have to go back and sign the wall. So hopefully sometime in the summer as well. So just 
some things. And that's really it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to like. It's your girl Savannah. I do not feel good today. I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to say the word S I C K, but I feel like I am S I C K. I woke up last night and my nose was running and I had a scratchy throat and it was like dry, it felt like sandpaper. And I'm like, oh my God, do I have, do I have it? Do I have, I don't even like, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh my God, do I have it? I'm like, do I have it? And then I immediately was like, I need to eat. I need to test if I have my sense of smell and taste and I did and it's fine. And I'm fairly healthy individual. So if I think positive thoughts, I'm going to heal my body through my mind and I was gargling salt water and I looked up these natural remedies, but I still don't feel 100% S word, I'm not gonna say that. But I did, it was like, oh my gosh, I have to vlog today. I promised my followers and you guys that I would be vlogging throughout my whole journey. So I wanted to make sure I give you guys an update. Today is Saturday, November 6th. And as you can see, my face is semi back to normal. It's actually like starting to heal and it's the smoothest it's been pretty much ever, it feels really smooth. And yesterday, yesterday I went and I got laser hair removal. She did my legs, she did, mm. oh yeah, yeah. Blue's here. She did everything, my full body, and it was amazing. So she said after two weeks, the little hair follicles would just like fall off, and then I have to go back. You have to get four to, four to eight treatments depending on your hair. I have really thick, coarse, dark hair, so I might have to go five or six times to get it, but you go like once a month, sometimes you go six weeks, sometimes you go eight weeks just to get touch-ups. But eventually I won't have to shave. The reason why I did this is because I hate looking at my sage shots and like on the bikini line, sometimes the tan absorbs into the little hair follicles and you can see these little like dots. I can notice them, no one else can notice them because they're like small, but I just don't want to have to deal with shaving. So hopefully that makes my hair less coarse and thick and it'll help me. Welcome back to the vlog. I just did a little fitness photo shoot. So we're actually going to meal prep with your girl, Savannah. And um, I just took a food and allergy sensitivity test. So I cannot have black pepper. And you know what? Every single spice in my spice cabinet has black pepper in it. So I'm gonna get to use salt. And that's it. So. What I'm doing is I'm doing a lazy meal prep. I don't really feel like meal prepping. I am tired and I just wanna get this over with. So what I'm doing is I'm cooking my chicken in the crock pot four hours with some water and some salt. Pop your chicken in a crock pot, set that ish on high for four to six hours. You can also do it in the morning. Just leave it, do a low for 10 hours right before you leave. So if you have excuses about meal prepping, get a crock pot and put your chicken in it all day long it'll cook for you you're gonna get home and you're gonna have chicken and you can shred that chicken it's gonna be so moist and perfect for you and your family to have a healthy meal prep also what we're doing this week we are doing frozen vegetables so my favorite thing in the world frozen green beans so that's what's going down when in doubt just put it in the microwave for five minutes and in the bag and then it's ready to go no pepper just salt. And what else am I doing? I bought a bunch of lean beef, so I'm gonna cook that on the stove top like really fast. So I'm gonna get two pans. I'm gonna cook up some lean beef. I'm gonna throw it all in a container and then call it a freaking day. That's really all that I'm gonna do. Chicken is going to be good in a couple of hours. I'm gonna cook up some beef. I'm gonna microwave some vegetables, put those all in there. Carbs, I'm gonna make some rice. I'm gonna make a big pot of rice, it takes like 10 minutes, and I'm gonna be done meal prepping, like 30 minutes, I think. I'm gonna really try to do a really quick meal prep. Um, the vegetables are the longest thing. I got a, some asparagus in there that I do need to eat before I do those, because I, I always buy asparagus and then I forget I don't ever, sometimes I buy vegetables and then I think I'm gonna eat them and then I don't eat them and then I throw them away because then they go rotten. Does anyone else do that? It's not wasteful, it's just sometimes I forget about the vegetables and yeah, so 
Anyway, let's get started on quick meal prepping with your girl Sav. So we're gonna make a bunch of different things. I'm gonna whip out my protein powder. So I'm, I like to bag my protein powder. I like to do that and then that's really it. So I'm gonna just bag my protein powder and I got these little nut butter packets. A lot of times I would have to weigh and measure out nut butter, but I got these honey almond butter packs. So these have two tablespoons in it, which is 32 grams of, of, of weight. And so it's 15 grams of carbs in one of these little packets, 180 calories. So I can have one of these. Um, yeah. And I, instead of doing coconut oil, since I'm allergic to it, I'll be doing olive oil in the mornings with my meat. And I did get a carb because I have, um, Coach Adam says I can do 50 grams of whatever carbs I want. I got some rice cereal because I am getting bored and I don't know what to eat and I just need to get calories in that are fast digesting because I'm at 2,500 calories and 250 grams of carbs and it is a struggle to get that many carbs in. So we're doing some cereal, cereal, and I'm cereal about it. Um, yes, so I'm gonna charge my camera. I'll check back in with you. Right now it's five o'clock. I'm gonna, I bet you I can get my meal prepping done by 7 p.m. So we'll check back and see where I'm at in a little bit. Welcome back. So it is 6.51 and I'm almost done meal prepping. Okay, don't be overwhelmed. Don't be overwhelmed. It's fine. So I have all of my protein powder, so it's 50 grams of a vegan protein powder. I use Steel Fit Peanut Butter Protein Vegan, and then I have Chex, 50 grams of Chex for post-workout carbs. Pre-workout carbs, I have 75 grams of oats, two tablespoons of uh, honey, almond, nut, butter. So those are all of my dishes. Right now what's cooking up, we got some sweet potato fries and all of those freaking dishes. And over here, so this is dinner. So it's 20 grams of rice or 20 grams of carbs from rice. So 72 grams of rice, a cup of zucchini and a five ounce is of green ground turkey. So that's a dinner. Then we have a lunch over there. So it's 35 grams of carbs from rice. So it's 125 grams of white rice, cup of green beans. I have some um, asparagus and then I have some rice and then five ounces of meat. So I'm gonna do that for meal three and four. And then meal one, which is breakfast. So meal one is breakfast. That's gonna be four ounces of meat with one cup of spinach and low carb tortillas in a wrap and I'm gonna probably make that fresh in the morning. Meal two is my carbs that we saw over there. So that's like pre-workout. Meal three I haven't made, which is lunch, but it's gonna look just like that. But instead of using beef, I have chicken cooking in the crock pot. I'm gonna do shredded chicken and that should be ready any time now. And that's it, that's a quick meal prep. I threw chicken in the crock pot for four hours on high. I microwaved some green beans. I microwaved, I think, two packets of green beans for five minutes, which took 10 minutes. I put in a tray of zucchini and asparagus in the oven for about 45 minutes. I boiled some water and made some rice, which took 15 minutes for some white rice. And then while that was going on, I used a skillet to cook up some ground beef. And then in my air fryer, I have sweet potatoes. 2,500 of calories done. And then when I had free time, I measured out my protein powder. I put it in baggies. I put in cereal in baggies. And I put in oats in baggies with little packets. You can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it. I literally spent a couple hours, maybe one or two hours two, three hours on a Sunday. You can even do it faster. You can even make your food fresh every single night and make it for the next day. That's something that I do when I start to get bored on prep is I will make fresh dinners and then use the extra resources for my lunches and snacks and stuff for the next day. I have to eat clean pretty much now because I know what I'm allergic to, which was very interesting. I already kind of eat clean, but just no pepper, which is kind of weird. So I just use salt and garlic powder 
and a little bit of some like lime zest. Um, yeah, no lemons, I'm allergic to lemons. So it'll be pretty plain, um, but it's gonna make me feel better. So as long as it makes me feel better, then it should be great and my stomach should be great. My abs, my digestion should be really great. But just know like if I have cheat meals with that type of stuff that I have sensitivities to, I'll know to take some more probiotics or some digestive enzymes ahead of time. So that way I know, you know, watch out. We're gonna have a little bit of issues later on. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really have anything else to say besides I'm almost done. And I'm so glad that I'm vlogging when I have makeup on because I rarely get to show you guys what I look like when I actually get pulled together. And I am a different person. It is like I'm a real life catfish. I swear to you when I wear makeup, I feel so confident when I don't wear makeup and I see myself without wearing makeup and without having my hair straight for like weeks, I feel really dumpy and like, <laughs> really bad so it's good and, and you guys know that I had um, my microneedling facial I have makeup on obviously but like I have a couple of spots but like it's overall I've never seen my skin so clear like I still have you know imperfections in my skin but this is like the clearest without the bumps without you know all the zits that I've had my skin a long time. Thank you to microneedling. I don't advise it if you don't know if you're allergic to lidocaine or whatever. I'm highly allergic so I probably will never do it again. But it did wonders for my skin. So maybe you guys should try it. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this was my quick meal prepping tips. Frozen vegetables, packets of almond butter, oats you can microwave them in the morning before you go to work if you have kids super easy to use oatmeal bag your cereal up for some post-workout carbs eat it on when you're leaving the gym driving i always eat and drive i have my protein powder pre-weighed out so i just grab it grab a shaker grab my water bottle jug in the morning i'll have all of my meals ready to go in the fridge so in the morning take my lunch box the only thing that i need to do is i put my lunch and my snack in my bag i put my post-workout carbs and my protein powder with the shaker in my bag and then i will microwave my oatmeal put some almond butter in it and then i'll grab my breakfast which is a tortilla and spinach and um meat i'll microwave that and then i might warm it up in a pan and make it crispy and then just eat that that should maybe take me 30 minutes or so. And then while I'm cooking, I usually make a cocktail in the morning. Not a real cocktail, obviously I don't drink um, anymore because of fitness, you know? So it'd be like water. I'm gonna not do my greens anymore because my greens have stuff I'm allergic to in it. So I'm gonna do um, BCAAs and leucine. That's it, I think, yeah, in the morning. So that's all I'm gonna be having and maybe a little bit of pre-workout. I'm not gonna be able to have my strawberry pineapple anymore, so I have to figure out. I think I still, I still can probably have the candy one, but there's just a couple products that I'll have to switch out. But that's it, you can meal prep. Crock-Pot is your best friend. If you guys want some more meal prepping tips, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos, for more meal prepping tips. You guys know I love meal prepping every single week. Check back here for what I'm eating. Most likely is gonna be the same thing, but I mix it up every once in a while. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week whenever you are watching this video. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see all of your meal prepping. If you guys have any questions, comment them below if you have any ideas or suggestions that you would like me to cover for my off season going into prep of 2022 drop them below for video ideas that you are wanting to see on my channel love you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend have a great week and i will see you back next week for more videos